Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a small business logic in a page extension and use procedure to calculate that page extension. That is to calculate or to evaluate the field. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page and here I'll be uploading all the programs which I'm explaining in the video so you can use it for your reference and please start this page. And the next one is this is my blog here. I will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner. So you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you. So you can just follow my blog by clicking here. And uh, this is my um, YouTube channel. So you can see here that I'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um, uh, you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks <music> So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to extend the customer field. I'm going to add a two more new fields and I'm going to write the logic in the procedure and call that procedure through uh, the page extension. OK, so first in order to extend, I'm going to uh, extend the table first. OK, so you can simply use the table extension here where I'm going to give the ID. So what are the ID which is available to you? You can use that ID and I'm going to use a customer table extension. Extension as my uh, uh, name of this extended table and I'm going to use the target table as the customer table. So you can use customer as the target table. So I'm going to add two new fields into it. OK, so I'm going to delete this var, but I don't want this var. And in the fields, I'm going to add a two new fields that is extending the ta uh, table. So I'm going to use the T field here where my first ID will be 50100. And I'm going to use a field here, probably uh, the size. Mm, and let us take uh, like yeah, shoe size. OK shoe size and I'm just going to make it as an integer okay and you can leave this empty okay and I'm going to create another field here you can make it here and I'm going to create another field uh, where I'm going to uh, find the remaining shoe that is what is the shoe level which is remaining so I'm just going to use the remaining shoes, remaining stock or remaining shoes. Okay, and you have to give the different ID here um, uh, in order to differentiate these two IDs. So this is what the table extension. I have added the two fields here. So now I'm going to use the page extension. So T page extension, you can use T page extension here. And uh, you can use the same uh, same id okay so 50112 and the page extension customer page extension and you can give the extension name here customer card so i'm just going to use customer card here okay so what we are going to do here is what we have to tell where i need this particular uh, two fields to be included so i'm just going to use add last okay i'm just going to add last in the general and i wanted to add the field here so t field and this t field is for table so i'm just deleting it here and i wanted to call the shoe size okay uh, so shoe size is here and i'm going to use the caption if you want to add the caption you can add it so caption is equal to shoe size okay and trigger on validate so i'm just going to validate it i don't want it to make it as any specific trigger so i'm not uh, writing anything in the actions it should validate uh, directly okay so on validate and i'm just going to start and end inside the begin and end i wanted to call a procedure so we will be writing the procedure okay and then also i'm just going to add another field here i'm going to add a field called uh, remaining shoes okay so 
remaining shoes here and inside that i can also write a caption for this uh, remaining remaining shoes and trigger on validate on validate so i want i'm going to write another procedure that is a basic function logic here and i'll be calling that here so in the actions if you wanted to create an action you can just create an action but anyhow i just don't want to create any actions here i will be calling that uh, directly the procedures directly from uh, the field itself so i'm just going to delete all these things now i'm going to create a local procedure that is we need two procedure so the one procedure I'm going to create just type T procedure. It will open up the snippet and you can uh, write it. So if you wanted to find the calculate size. Okay, so I'm just going to write calculate size is my procedure name. And I don't want all these variables. So I'm just deleting these variables here. And inside the begin, I'm just going to write the logic here. So what is my logic? If you can just fix up some size okay record dot so we have added uh, what a shoe size right so the shoe size will be here shoe size is less than uh, probably five if if someone is asking record size if they are entering record size less than five then it should show like error uh, the size is too small Okay, this is what the logic. Okay, this is how you can build the logic. Else, message. So you can save the record. Save the size. Saved successfully. Okay, so this is the business logic. So this is to calculate the size. And I can call this procedure here. So I'm just going to call this procedure inside the on validate calculate size. Okay, so I'm going to write another procedure to calculate the remaining stock. So the same logic. So look, uh, T procedures, you can just use the tree procedures where you can simply use calculate stock. And I'm just going to delete this. And in the begin, you can just simply write like if record dot um, probably remaining size. If someone is entering remaining shoes is less than three then uh, it should display the error message that um, uh, what it should display it should display like um, okay refill stock okay yes message else you don't want to do anything okay so i'm just uh, simply leaving it without any else uh, here so you can simply end here so i'm just going to call this calculate stocks inside the remaining shoes okay calculate stock so it's a very simple business logic we have written here so it will just calculate something and it will tell me back so i'm just saving this and i wanted to execute the customer card so yes let us go and change this application area is equal to all we will just try to give this everywhere the caption in these two fields and also here uh, data classification is equal to to be classified so I think, yeah, even here it is not required. So let us just make it as application area is equal to all. Now let us try and uh, press control F5 because that might be the reason, that, that will be the reason. So here, if you just scroll down, you can see the shoe size and remaining shoes, okay? So if you just click on the shoe size, okay and i'm just clicking edit and if you click on the shoe size and what we have given here for the shoe size should not be less than five and less than three for if i give shoe size as two and if i try to go to the next uh, thing it will throw me an error that it has some validation error so because it will not uh, show uh, that is it will show me that it, it is uh, the size is too small okay so this is what the error or and then if i uh, just click here more than five six 
and if I just try to move ahead it will show like saved successfully and the remaining shows if I give two then it will show me the error probably if you don't want to show this as an error and if you just wanted to show this as a message you can uh, make it as a message and it will be displayed as a message okay so this is how this all will work so you can extend the page and whatever the logic you want you can just write it here and if you wanted to pass any parameter into the function so even that i will be discussing in the next video so please stay tuned thank you take care bye bye